I feel like I absolutely hate the lighting right now, but like maybe somebody out there will think it's good. I still hate the lighting, but I mean like this is what we're this is what we're gonna deal with, you know what I mean? So, okay. Hey, what's up guys? Hey Barbies and Kens. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Our channel, this light is so fucking bright in my eyes right now, it's insane. Welcome back to the channel if you're new here. My name is Gab. And uh, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul that I haven't done in a while. Um, if I can find the other ones, I'll link them down below. Also, this will be in my hauls playlist. So if you guys don't follow my playlist, they are on the side. So yeah. So um, of course, y'all should check that out. And um, if you're looking to watch the, like a certain video... But in the past, I've done these. It's basically uh, a big cancer benefit where people donate items. So for this event, all the items that they collect, all the money goes to, obviously, uh, the cancer center in my area, which is awesome. And it's basically like all the donations they just put in one place. The first day you pay $10 to get in, which is what I did. And then there's a second day, which is half price day. And then there's a third day, which is bag day, which you just like fill a bag for a price, which is pretty cool. So every year I end up going to the event and getting a bunch of cool stuff and showing it to you guys. And that is what we are doing right now. Some of these items also might end up on my eBay. So look out for that. So this is everything I found during the event. Um, we're going to start off with this bag that was $8. Something about it. I don't know. I just kind of love it. I still have to like wipe it down and clean it. But I thought it's perfect just to fit a bunch of crap in it. It would definitely fit like my iPad. And I love that it has like a zipper on the outside too to fit stuff in. I love it. I think it's a great bag. And a lot of the ones that they had there, some of them were kind of like ratty and beat up. So this was a good find. By the way, before this... I was just uh, going through my closet, hanging stuff up, and then taking stuff out that I'm going to get rid of. I was going through those shelves, getting rid of stuff. Actually, I'll put that footage in now. This is me going through the shelves earlier, cleaning them. <laughs> so how I normally like to do this is go through every shelf. This shelf, um, if you haven't seen the background of my videos, some people hate my shelves, by the way. Um, they hate the background. They think it's ugly. Sorry. <laughs> But um, this shelf is just for items that I'm selling that I've made. And at the bottom, I have little odds and ends. Um, so basically, we're just going through the shelves today. And I'm picking out items that I feel like I do not, like, need. They don't serve me a purpose anymore in my collection. Um, so that's what we are doing. So I just dropped it down to the next shelf, which is here. And it's, like, semi-put together. Um, but we're going to start from the right. And everything here, besides this, I was collecting ducks at one point, but like, I don't know. Just haven't been into them lately. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have a bag on my arm because I'm like standing up, you know? It just makes it easier for grabbing items. Uh, so anyways, so this is gonna go in the bag. Like, I used to collect a lot of little McDonald's toys, and I still kind of do, but this one, I don't even watch the show. I just thought it was neat looking, so that's going to go in the bag. The donut racer car is not going anywhere. That one's cool as shit. Um, these I have to dust one day very, very soon. Um, and he's going to go, too. But I think the rest in the corner are safe. Even Cinderella on her ass. So let's keep going through... Um, hmm. Kind of going back and forth about the bucket. The wagon can stay. The wagon's adorable. There's an octopus back there. Duck. I just haven't been in the collecting ducks lately. I don't know. So, it's an octopus duck. He's going to go bye-bye as well. And if anybody's interested in any of the products I'm showing, they're going to all be on my eBay my Depop. I don't know, separated, um, in lots, who knows. But I'm gonna keep going. 
Oh, that's so cute. It's a tiny dino, but I think I might get rid of him as well. Yeah, the tiny Jurassic World ones I'm going to get rid of. Moving on. Sky Dancer stays. Dr. Octopus stays. We have... Oh, some people fell over over here. Oops. I love the McDonald's Malaga... Madam, I can't talk, Alexandria dolls. They stay, except this girl's falling over. I had, like, a thing where I was collecting these, and I was really obsessed, and I don't know why, so I think she's going to go. There's no need. Eh, actually, we'll keep her. We'll keep the one with the ice cream, because she's actually kind of precious. I just saw her sitting down there, and we'll get rid of her. So, like I said, I am trying to clear some stuff out here. Um... And yeah, I think that's good for the shelf. Like I said, I wasn't trying to go like cray cray, but just enough. Then we're gonna go down on a shelf. Here's some more. This one's kind of like everywhere because they didn't put it together just yet. This I was thinking about getting rid of, so let's throw that in the bag. Let's not have a second guess on it. Um. We're going to get rid of this one, another Cabbage Patch figure. Oh, I got some stuff on the top here. Tez well. Um, I love the duck that looks like a turtle. I was thinking about getting rid of this, but like, it's too precious. Um, yeah, like you can see everything's like really messy. You have to... Sort them out more, and I usually throw my piercings up here as well. Is there piercing stuff? Oh, there's salt rings. Anyways, this one's precious. You see how cute that is? Um, the Barbie stamp. She's got to stay, too. That one's too cool. There's just some stuff that I can't part with, you know. The glass of pigs. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not too good at the parting thing, but some of the stuff went, some stuff went. So when I went to this event, um, it started at like, I believe four o'clock. I got there at like six, maybe like 6.15. There's no carts. They were all gone. I had to bring this bag to fill up because I would have had nothing. So these are beautiful i love tying them up into my hair so i got this one these were four dollars a piece which is kind of expensive but again it's a good cause so i don't mind spending money when i go there but i got this one that i gotta clean there's more i think there's some more on the bottom this bag i saw that was eight dollars all I saw were these little dolls, and I was like, um, yeah, I'm getting these. I was so freaking excited. And we're gonna look for them right now, because I know I want to keep one. I just don't know which one I want to keep it. So, we have this one. Look at their little, like, glittery jelly shoes. I think that is the cutest freaking shit ever. Look at that. Look at the little outfit. Um, these are like Color Me Girls or something like that. I'll put the name up on the screen. I don't remember. But I was looking them up on my freaking eBay already to post. So, here's one. Oh, the girl in purple. Super cute. For $8, this was like a steal, honestly. Um, here's like a little soccer shirt. Like I said, I'm gonna do these in like lots, probably. I think that would be best. Oh my God, this one looks wild with the yellow hair. So this one has on. Oh my god. What's happening here? Ooh, their skirt comes off, I guess. Um, I'm gonna put it back on her. But this one is just like a whole yellow theme. And her hair is like sort of out of control. So it's not very good. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Look at that. It's wild looking. Anyways, so here's the yellow little sunshine girl. I don't know why I called her a sunshine girl. I 
really need to know what these are from. They really color me some things. It's up on the screen. But um, again, they have like little glitter yellow jelly shoes and the outfit. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Let's pull another out. This one I think is so freaking cute. Again, her hair is a little wild, but just needs her hair combed. Uh, this one has little green jelly glittery shoes and little green butterfly dress, which I think is freaking precious. And the hair and everything. Love it. Very fun. Like I said, I want to keep one of them. I just don't know which one. And then the rest um, will be going up on my socials. But she's so cute. I've just never seen these before. I think they're so freaking precious. Unfortunately, like, I just don't need a whole, you know, lot of them. But she's adorable, too. Look at this girl. With her freaking... Oh my god, so precious. Her freaking pigtails are precious. I'm dying. Look at her little shoes. The little outfit she's wearing. I love these so much. She's adorable, too. Kinda. I kinda want her, too. Honestly, like, sometimes when my stuff doesn't sell, I'm just like, oh, I'm taking that. Oh, I'm taking that. And, um... We're going to see if these sell because I love her. So there's two with the pigtails. This one has on like a little pink princess dress, which is so cute. And then her shoes match her hair. So I think that's adorable. But I think between the two, I like her better for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just this outfit kills me. But you would think I'd like this one more, right? Because it's a little princess dress. But I don't know. I feel like I should keep probably one with blue hair only because um, there's two with blue hair, but also like it doesn't really matter because I could just sell them in lots, you know what I mean? So uh, this dress is super adorable though, I will give it that, but I think it should be on a different doll. I think this one should have a blue outfit on, but still it's really cute. There's a crap ton of clothes in here for them. Here is the girl. Or like pink she should probably actually have this pink dress on we should probably take it off the one with the blue that's probably her dress unless i can find like an outfit in there that would match her aesthetic but um she has these like little braids very cute let's see if we can find her outfit oh there's one more doll in there too then um i really don't want to put her in this outfit that's like a clown outfit I won't make her wear that, but I'm going to put that one behind her because I could sell it with her. Um, the green one has an adorable little head strap, um, which is kind of sending me over the top. That's, oh my God. Do you guys want to see how cute this is? Look at this. Wait, what up? She's not, she's not cooperating. She's not cooperating at all. It's her kind of pissing me off um yeah wait up there we go look at it. how cute is that it's like kind of freaking adorable we have for the green one like a little um covered thing you know what too i'm gonna weigh out which one i take by like the outfits as well like, if one has, like, a bunch of outfits that would, like, go with it, then obviously I want to get rid of it so somebody has it to enjoy. But if one's, like, missing pieces and stuff, then obviously that would be free game to keep it. Uh, I know I just said I was going to switch the one with the cute pink dress to the one that actually should be wearing it. And there's one more doll that we're missing. I think this is actually all of them, which is crazy. And then there's a duplicate double for the blue, like I would mentioned. These are so cute. I love them. I absolutely love them. Fisher Price makes them cute and little odds and ends sometimes. And this is like 100% one of those things. At least in my opinion. Okay, so she should have this dress on. There she goes. She has it on. Um, and then like I mentioned, there's one more doll in here. And it's this one. And whoa. Her hair is absolutely crazy, but I kind of love it. It's like very curly and wild. She's not wearing anything. And I also just pulled out these little overalls. 
which obviously would go to the girl in purple. I'm going to put those underneath her because those are hers. This girl needs her clothes on. Also, this girl needs clothes, depending which doll I'm keeping when it comes to that. But there's a yellow comb, which it looks like the original one that came with it. So I'm going to put that with the yellow doll. Stop. She has a little sunbonnet to the yellow doll. Oh my god. The hat's just... It's something about the hats on these dolls. I just think it's the most precious thing ever. So there we go. Here's hers. I have a little thing coming down. That's cutie shit. Gotta say. Um, we have another one of those soccer shirts, which... I'm not crazy about, but I guess that's what's going to go on the girl in the blue with the pigtails. She's probably like a soccer player, and there's also matching pants. So I'm going ahead and dressing the one in blue with the soccer outfit on and the pigtails because, like, obviously, it's going to look really cute on her. And I think this was maybe, like, the outfit that came on her originally, but that's just me assuming but could be the other doll too it looks like there's an outfit in here that i can shove on her so all right well here are the pants this is really cute actually look at her little soccer outfit and then i don't like all laid out in front of me and then we have this girly i have like a second soccer thing because I was probably for the girl in the blue. So I'm going to put that there. The one in the, my second one that I was thinking about keeping. So I'll keep that there. This girl needs clothes on. So let me find her an outfit. There's like this shirt, which I don't know if it even went to this set. It probably did not, but maybe it did. No, this is way too big. This came in here. I'll probably just sell that with the clothes lot that I have up like I have a doll clothes lot up and I keep adding to it and I would think somebody would buy and nobody has and I have more that I have to add to it at some point so that's gonna be added um, here's an outfit finally for this little character at least a shirt I don't know if there's pants for her but we have a shirt at least I think it's actually a dress never mind we have a whole outfit <laughs> because this dress is also, I mean, I was going to say this shirt's going to be used as a dress, but, like, it does look like a dress. That's pretty cute. So, let's shove her there. And I'll start line up. Let's see what else we have. A blue skirt that probably doesn't go to this set. Or, I'm sorry, they're shorts. But I'll sell it because it'll go with this and this. So, I would sell that together. And then we have mad brushes that go to it. So, the blue one. She'd have a brush, the purple one, a brush, um, red, a brush, and then this pink one, a brush, of course. I could say for each one, right? Um, there's another purple one, so I think this probably went to something else. So this is her actual brush. Maybe I'll save this and make it like a little keychain. That would be kind of cute for my keys. This has the hole for it. Um, this is adorable. There's like a knapsack that would go on the back of the soccer player one. And then this is absolutely adorable. Um, freaking out. The one of the pink has the cutest second outfit. Look at that. That's adorable. So I'll put that with the one in the pink. Green has a brush. But the bristles kind of like stupid on it. Did everybody have a brush that came with it? I think they all did except there wasn't like a second blue one for the blue doll. But that's everything that's in this bag. Um, I was going to say the green one's brush is a little messed up. So maybe I'll give that to... I don't know. I might just add it as a freebie to one of the lots that I make then, but I don't know. I'm looking at them all, and this one really doesn't have a lot, 
So if I really were to keep one, I think it should actually be this one because like it doesn't have a lot that comes with it. I don't even think this outfit went to it, you know what I mean? So this is probably the one I'm going to keep for myself, but I'm not going to lie, this green one, if it doesn't sell, like the only reason why I'm selling the green one is because it has like the shirt that goes with it, it has its comb, but if it wasn't for that, or like if it just doesn't sell in general, I'm 100% keeping it because look how cute she is with her little jelly shoes. I don't know. I just think she's precious and they're all precious. So yes, I love these. That was a good find for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm too lazy to move the little dolls. So they're just all going to like lay out in front of me while I'm doing this. Um, little Rudy, Rudolph. I think he was like a buck. Why did I call him Rudy? That was weird. Um, <laughs> It's like a vintage Rudolph stuffed animal. I'm going to be selling him, her, it, whatever you want to call it. I don't know where I'm throwing it. Over there. Head wrap. Vintage one. It needs to be washed. I like to wear those with my wig. Actually, I like to wear those with my wig. It really, like, reinforces them. And then we have this one. Very pretty patterns I found. This, mm, I'm fucking obsessed with this one, honestly. It's so freaking pretty. This needs to be dry cleaned, I think, because I'm not sure how to clean it. Comment if you know. I'm pretty sure I need to get it dry cleaned. It's just like this vintage, like, feather piece. Love it. it smells kind of, like, questionable. It needs to be dry cleaned, like I had mentioned. I had to grab the rest of the stuff. Um, we're just gonna do this for right now first, and then there's more stuff on the floor, but there was jewelry for sale, and you know me, I'm a sucker. This one was six dollars. How do I take this off? I don't know. I wish I had a scissor. I mean, I do. It's just across the ways, whatever. I'll cut it or later, but look at the little pearls. Look at the gems super pretty i love it so i got that eight dollars next up this one was four dollars it's a pearl cuff i just bashed my hand there sorry but it's a pearl cuff and i think it's just so freaking precious i love it it look really cute with like little dresses in the summer people ever want to take me on a date Ugh, online dating is the worst i'm telling you this necklace is ten dollars. I wasn't gonna do it. I have a hard time finding pieces like this, though, to be honest. Like, and usually online they do run for this much. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. It's a good cause. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the colors. I just, I think this is such a gorgeous necklace. I mean, obviously with the burger earrings, not a vibe. Um, but like with a simple dress, this is oh the just uh, iridescence of it i think they're beautiful so that's all for me because um i wanted that jewelry i knew the dolls like i wasn't going to be keeping all of them so that's why you get it a few other things in that bag this was two dollars this troll mask i believe it's not marked at all unless i just didn't look very well this is like made in china this will be up on my eBay for sale. This is like a wrap from the summer over my bikini to wear. Like, ugh. Again, such a vibe. It's going to look so cute. And then this $8 unnecessary basket that I bought to just keep... Ow, I just cracked my head off the wall. <laughs> Do I keep them in the video? I'm like, poo! Um, to, just uh, to just keep shit in. It's huge. It's a big basket. Um, I just want to keep like dolls and cute shit in it. Uh, here is this little cow, and I think it's so funny because guess what its name is? It's a TY Classic, and its name is Mutina. Mutina. Like, what kind of name is that? It's so dumb, but I love it. It's adorable. Uh, this I got to sell. Um, let me see what else. This I got for myself. I wish it had batteries and I could show you what it does. Um, I don't think it has batteries. I don't even know how to turn it on, actually. It just says, like, okay, which means it's working. But, um, I don't know. 
like how to get it to work. Maybe just to like spin it. I don't know. But I bought this. It says it's okay. There's no batteries in it. I'm assuming. Oh, there's just like this weird sticker on it. I'm assuming like the little lights on top light up and it does some like cool stuff. I have no idea. Me and my carousel horse addiction and carousels I'm like obsessed with. So I thought it would look cute on my shelf somewhere over there. I just wish it knew what it did and it says okay. So it does like work for sure. I just don't know like what it does. So this was $8 when I was going to check out. Um, I saw it and I really wanted it. It was on a table, just like chilling, vibing. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. This crystal cuff with the little diamonds and the stars. I cannot wait again to wear it out somewhere. It's just so precious. So I got that and it was $8 and I don't know if I paid too much for it. Probably not again, just cause it's a good cause, but also how glittery and pretty it is i just love it it's it's gonna look so cool with dresses and stuff in the summer this is like a heavier i don't know if it makes noise or anything i don't think it does flounder like i have a flounder that's like half the size of this like a baby flounder this is huge um i got it for resale it's from disneyland walt disney world i don't know a year or anything like that but it's a decent size and he's so cute and i saved him I don't think I'm saving this for my own collection, but in general, I feel like I needed to save this Webkin's Basset Hound, so I did, and here he is. I'll probably just throw him up on my eBay and my Teapop, and then another dog to stay on, you know, task uh, is this Build-A-Bear Workshop 1 Kennel Pals, this little black lab, I guess you would say picked him up as well during the sale for a dollar so this is like a last but not least this was 15 dollars. this was in their like boutique section i usually do not buy anything from the section because one it's like high-end things but they're used and um sometimes i like stuff in there sometimes i'm like eh. and you know i saw this bag and i couldn't get it out of my brain i saw it i walked away for maybe like two minutes and kept thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to regret it if I don't pick it up and throw it in my cart. So I did. Because, you know, like when... Sorry, I was fixing something on my shelf. You know, when you're shopping somewhere and you see something in somebody else's cart, like a Goodwill or something, you're like, maybe they'll put it back. But they usually don't. That's how I felt about this. I'm like, if somebody picks this up and I don't get this bag, I'm going to be really upset. I don't know. I just really love the print on it. I think it's so pretty. It's so tiny, too. So, like, I feel so cute when I go out with it. Here's a picture of me actually out with it on the weekend. I thought it looked adorable with it. And um, I just, I adore it, to be honest with you. I think it's, it's great. So that is everything I found this year at the Cancer um, Boutique sale. Um, I had a great time there. I liked that I found these vintage dolls. I love the jewelry finds, the purse, a little feathered moment, the scarves, everything. Like... Uh, they usually have a great scarf section, so I was very excited about that. Also, for the people who hate my background, do you guys like it today? Look at it. It's a bunch of stuffed animals just, like, vibing on my bed. Do you guys love that? Do you hate it? I don't know. The shelves, like I said, I'm working on them. I got rid of, like, a lot of stuff as well. Like I said, it's a work in progress, but I like it. I don't think it looks that bad. What do you guys think? Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, morning, whatever you're doing, and I will see you all in the next one.